the whole community knows that there is houseless people living outside in every single neighborhood? Hey guys, guys, check this out. What is it? It's someone in. Thank you. Uh, Councilmember Cooper, you had a response. Yeah, thank you, Mayor Selby. I really appreciate everyone coming out tonight. And, you know, just to echo the city manager, you know, this is a, you know, for, for anybody that's bought a home, we're going under contract and we're going to do our inspection period. So we don't even know for sure that we're going to sign on the bottom line and buy the piece of property. Uh, and as the city manager said, you know, there's a lot, a lot, a little bit of a road in front of whatever happens to that property, both short term and long term. Um, I, I want to just make sure that all of the neighbors know, as as the whole community knows, that there is houseless people living outside in every single neighborhood, and we're all experiencing uh, the hardship that comes along with having people unsheltered, trying to meet their needs with nothing right in our neighborhoods. And it's really, really difficult for everyone, both the housed and the unhoused. And there's children in the camps and in the neighborhoods everywhere all over our city. And we do have the safety of every single person living in our city, first and foremost, in, in our decision-making process. And, and I can, I, you know, that is what we do. That's the Olympia way. And uh, so we will, as we have with uh, several very successful sites, uh, we'll do some, a lot of community meeting and talking with stakeholders uh, to get through, I think, most all of the questions that have been asked tonight. I think a lot of the, um, you know, the things that have been said are, are quite surmountable. In fact, our own law requires much of what has been brought up tonight around sanitation and, and management and security. Uh, you know, we have put code in place to protect the community uh, in this situation. Um, every single time we do a facility, there's rules. You know, we we have a, 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 a ability to, you know, be at a at a level of entry where we can bring in just about anyone. But if you don't follow the rules, then you'll be asked to leave. And the city has a good experience and a good path and process for that. Um, and then I'll just sit. Lastly, I'd like to add uh, on uh, it, in response to Glenn Wells specifically and and all of the property owners and neighbors that live there. Thank you for your investment in that neighborhood. And honestly, that's why I see the city buying this piece of property too, is to continue that investment uh, and bring more density. So, you know, short term, we might, uh, you know, be able to, to, to do a little bit of RV, you know, camping there for a little while, but we're not building an RV park. Uh, you know, if, if I have anything to say about it, we'll be building, you know, one or two more buildings like 2828 Martin Way, uh, you know, 60, 70 apartment buildings that will continue to improve the neighborhood uh, and provide more relief for the community at large uh, in a really hard crisis. So, uh, you know, I know that it's difficult to imagine in your backyard. Uh, and I just want to thank you all for, for the grace you've given us tonight and for uh, your uh, really um, honest and calm approach. Uh, I, we needed that today. So thank you very much. That's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day.